I... Oh, you just don't know. It's... It's been a long time. What's this? I got that from the gun. It was gonna waste me. Got it out of his trunk. Yeah, I also got his gun. Wait a minute. This isn't any ordinary black book. It's in code. Code? I don't believe this. This guy worked for Ben Cronin. The purse is open. So? So? That guy stole all our money. You just can't go around taking stuff that doesn't belong to you and then expect to get away with it, okay? What do you think we ought to do with him, Chad? Will we waste them here or take them down the road? And now we bring you videotaped footage from the robbery committed by escaped convict Rita Jones just hours ago. I want you to know this is not thrilling me. Stop. Oh, Rita? Mrs. Meadows, this is... Agent Connor of the Federal Security Department. We don't want anyone to get hurt... The bottom line here is that those women are wanted. And the longer they're on the road, the more trouble they're going to get into. So if you want my advice, the next time they call, tell them to turn themselves in. He wants to hurt me. He wants to hurt me like the rest. No, Holly, Jerry, Jerry would never hurt you. Jerry, what is it? Holly's missing. all dolled up for? I've got a visitor coming today. <laughs> Nobody's come to see you since 1987. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember that far back. <laughs> but of course you know what they say. The older you get, the more you remember the past and can't figure out what happened two minutes ago. And you get your junk off of my bed or I'll throw it in the trash can. Now you've been barking ever since you came back. What's eating you? The talk around here, that's what. What talk? <laughs> you know anything? How can you go around and not see what's happening right in front of your big fat nose? Will you stop yelling at me and tell me what talk? Officer Lewis, the guard. What about him? They say that he, he was murdered outside the prison door last night. I just can't believe we have been here all night. There shouldn't be much more questioning. Yeah, well, they called me in early to answer questions, and now I gotta go back on duty in a few minutes. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like? I'm trying to stay in shape. The police said they won't need to question you any further. But if you think of anything, or if you have any thoughts about why this happened, please let them know. I just can't imagine who would want to kill Norman Lewis. He was such a sweet guy. Everybody liked him. Yeah, well, it only takes one enemy. I bet it was a former inmate had something against him, Warren. You know, that's hard to believe, Jack. I never heard a bad word against Officer Lewis from any of the inmates. Quite the contrary. Well, we've had a lot of nuts in here, Warden. And too many of them have been let out, if you ask me. I just came on duty, you guys. Is, is it really true, what they say about Norm? I'm afraid it is. It's just, why him? I mean, he was a hell of a guy. I heard you found him, Maria. Are you okay? Yeah. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. What are you doing here at this hour? I came as soon as I heard about Holly. Yes, it's a worry. I've been up ever since we found her missing. I just thought I would pack some of these Christmas things away. Do you have any idea where she went, Sissy? No. I just can't imagine her in the state she was in. I mean, she could just probably go out there and get lost and fall in the lake. I oh, mean, she could do Crystal, anything. Crystal, that's enough. I, uh, I think I get the idea. Good morning, Crystal. 
Uh, Joe? Anything? No. I've searched all around the inn. I don't know where else to go. Have you heard from Jerry? No, not a word. And Chief Carlson hasn't called. I, I, I just can't imagine where she went. Jerry, any sign? No, no one saw her in town or on the road. Anything here? I've walked over two miles around the area. I don't know where else to look. I just don't know what to do, Joe. Hey, someone just came in. Holly. Hi. Honey, we've been worried sick about you. Why? What's there to worry about? I'm fine. Why all the fuss? <sighs> Why don't we sit down over here? But I'm okay. Honey, are you sure you're all right? Of course. Where have you been, Holly? Just out enjoying the sunshine. But you've been gone all night. Not all night. I couldn't sleep, so I went for a walk. Well, why'd you sneak out? I didn't. I put my coat on, I walked down the stairs, and I left. I was asleep on the sofa. Didn't you see me? Yes, but I didn't want to wake you. I just wanted some air. So where did you go, Holly? Oh, just around. I guess I walked farther than I intended, but it was good to get out, and I enjoyed the ride. Ride? I thought you went for a walk. I did, but I walked so far I had to take the bus back. I don't understand all this questioning. Well, it's just that we're so worried. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm glad I did it because I feel much better. Well, that's wonderful. Where are you going? To the kitchen for some water. Well, honey, I'll get there. No, no, I can do it. You worry too much. I won't be long. I don't know what to make of that. Do she, you? She does seem so much better. She's not the same frightened Holly she was yesterday. And did you notice? It didn't seem to bother her at all that Joe and I were here. I mean, she actually seems okay now. Let's hope so. Well, I know this has been hard on you, Jerry. Well, I don't understand any of all this. It's like it's a miracle. Morning, everybody. Oh, good morning. Are you ready for your breakfast, Mr. Connor? Yes, thank you. No hurry, though. I'm not going anywhere until after your friends Rita and Mrs. Meadows called. I'm going to call the inn over my dead body. Oh, that's a thought. Forget the call, Rita. Who do you think you are ordering me around? I got every right to call the inn and see how my kid is doing. Debbie is fine. Look, Rita, she is very mature for her age. She knows how to take care of herself. You don't know that. I'm calling. You didn't learn one damn thing from the last time, did you? Look, now that we know the FSD is there, I'll make it short. I don't want to argue about this, Rita. Then why are you? Because sometimes you can be so damn pig-headed. Trouble with you is that you don't know what it's like to be a mother. Yeah, well, I sure as hell know what it's like to be in prison. What? I've, uh, heard stories from Faith. From all of you. Sissy's certainly told me all the gory details. I just... Don't want to take a chance. Tough. Hey! Less than three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Cedar Lake Inn? Joe, this is Rita. I gotta talk fast. Have you heard from Debbie? Uh, no. Oh, damn. Oh, I hope Cronin's men didn't get... Jones, this is Agent Connor. Please talk to me. Hey, G-Man, I got nothing to say to you. You're in a lot of trouble. It would be a lot easier if you and your friend would just turn yourself in and... What do you want me to do? Go back. What? What, are you crazy? We are being chased. Not only by the cops, but by the FSD. And we made the network news last night with that video of the holdup. And you want to go back? I'm worried about my... Girl. I know, you don't have to keep telling me that. Look, turning around is not going to help. What else are we going to do? I don't know. Look, I, I, uh, I've been thinking... All we've been doing is going around from place to place and doing everything from the top of our heads. Maybe we just need to hole up somewhere and really think things through. I don't know what there is to think about anymore. We're between a rock and a hard place. Which is why we got to plan our moves carefully from now on. We got a lot of questions to sort out. Yeah. Like where my kid could be. All right. All right, maybe we'll call the diner later and talk to Kristen. Hey! 
Chris, the diner phone won't be tapped. Right, and knowing Crystal, she'll have all the latest news about the inn. I'll call her now. No, no, no. We're going to use a different phone later. For all we know right now, they could be trying to trace this one. Damn, I wish we'd thought of that earlier. Crystal can be our link. Hey! <laughs> Things are looking brighter already. All right. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Stop being upset about Debbie. All right? She's a bright girl. She's gonna be fine. You don't think that uh, one of Cronin's got oh, all over it? Nah. <laughs> well, probably thinks we've still got the money. Yeah, I bet you're right. So where do we uh, just disappear? Mm. We'll find a place. Yeah. Some place quiet, peaceful, and safe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't these women understand what kind of trouble they're in? Can't you convince them to turn themselves in? I don't have any say in the matter. Then who the hell does? Who will they listen to? You're talking to the wrong person. Look, I know you're a loyal friend and all that, but in this case, you're carrying it too far. Your friends have broken the law, and as long as they're out there, they'll continue to do just that. You don't know that. I know they're running, and they're running scared. They're not thinking clearly, and they're going to do some damn fool things and get into so much trouble that they'll never be able to get out. And who knows how many victims they'll leave behind. You have no right to talk about them like that. They're decent human beings. They're criminals, Mrs. Johnson. My God, you saw the tape. What will it take to convince you? There's got to be more to it than that. I know it. They just wouldn't rob an innocent person for no reason. You keep saying they're on some kind of a crime spree. Well, it'll take more than a videotape to convince me of that. What about the eyewitness and the man who got shot? He didn't even have a gun on him. You've got blinders on. Can't you talk some sense into this woman? Says he's got a mind of her own. All right, all right. Let's say you're right. I want to help them, but my hands are tied unless they come in and tell their side of the story. They've got to do that, Mrs. Johnson. Otherwise, this thing will turn into a nightmare for everybody. I understand what you're saying. I do. And I want them back. And I know Patricia wants to come home. She belongs here. She won't stay away forever. You think they'll come in on their own, huh? Yes, I do. Don't you agree, Joe? Frankly, as I say, I don't give a damn whether Patricia Meadows ever comes back. Joe, where are you going? I'm gonna go see Karen. The doctor called this morning and she's asking for Joe. I'm hoping her memory's coming back. I have to go upstairs. The prison board's giving me a hard time. Maria, since you're so close to some of the former inmates, talk to them. See if they remember Officer Lewis talking about an enemy. Sure. Both of you. Do anything you can as well. This is all we needed was a murder right on our doorstep. Poor Grayson. Top brass is really going to be gunning for her. First Holly's escape, the riots, then Rita's breakout. Now this. And don't forget about the rape. Rape's nothing next to murder. Who's coming to see you anyway? Ah, I've got a gentleman caller. Probably somebody you owe money to. I don't owe nobody nothing. I am still attractive. I don't even look half my age. Oh, you must have broke your mirror. <laughs> I suppose you think you're the only one that can snag a man. You're talking about Will? He thinks I'm the hottest thing since the Chicago Fire. <laughs> I'm not so sure about mm -hmm. that. Will, your uh, visitor's here. Oh. Oh. Uh, what's the word on Norm? Is it true what they say? Yeah, did it really happen, or is it somebody's idea of a bad joke? Now, if it was Fisher they were talking about, that, that, that'd that be different. Uh, we'd be blowing up balloons in celebration, but but Norm... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sorry to say it is true. Oh, Dan, he was such a nice fella. Why does it always have to happen to the good guys? Yeah, we just heard about Norm. Yeah, how did it happen, Maria? He, uh, went out for donuts last night after the party. And when he didn't come back, Nell and I got a little worried, so, um, we went to go check on him. As I lifted up the gate, there he was, lying there with a knife in his back. It's awful. It's just awful. 
I've once seen a guy with a knife in his back. It ain't a pretty sight. No. Visitor's waiting. Now, listen here. I want you to listen to me, Maria. There's only one thing to do. You just simply have to go put it out of your mind. You can't keep going on like this. You can't carry a, a burden like it. I know it's a difficult time for you, Mrs. Johnson, but you're a woman with a lot of common sense. Don't you see that if Mrs. Meadows keeps running, things are only going to get worse? Patricia is not guilty of any of the things you say. There's an explanation for everything. If that's true, I'd like to hear her side of the story. I told you that. But as things stand now, you have to admit she's acting guilty. Under the circumstances, I'm enjoying my stay at the inn. It really is a haven. I'd hate to see Mrs. Meadows lose it. What do you mean? I know her friend, Faith Cronin, gave her the money for her holdings. We can confiscate anything bought with illegal money. That includes not only the inn, but her other property. I didn't realize... Maybe you should inform Mrs. Meadows of that the next time she calls. It might have some bearing on her decision to come back. The facts are sometimes very brutal. I'm sorry about that. she still be in the hospital? When I started to leave the hospital, she got very upset. I'm the only person that she remembers, and she only remembers my face. She didn't want to be left alone. I talked to her over the doctor, and he thought it might be beneficial if I brought her back here to see the inn, you know, familiar territory. It might jog her memory. I had no other choice. <laughs> Karen, this is Sissy Johnson. Hello. Joe, this place is lovely. And we both lived here? Yes. It's nice, warm and friendly. Do you live here too? I work here. You don't remember me? No, sorry. Try, Karen. This is Sissy. Does that name sound familiar to you? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, Sissy. Is this where we met? It certainly is. The doctor explained that many times, memory loss cases of trauma victims, they often remember the distant past before they remember the present. Oh, then you remember being married to Joe? I'm afraid I don't. I've talked to her about the marriage, but so far she... It's okay, it'll happen, it just takes time. I don't understand. She doesn't remember that you were once her husband, and yet she knows who you are? She only remembers my face. Hmm. Sissy. Did I do something to upset you when I was here before? Why do you ask? I've got the feeling you don't like me. If I have done something, please tell me. You haven't done anything. The important thing is that you get well. Come on. like nobody's been near that dump in 30 years. It's perfect. It's secluded. It's close enough to the highway so we can make a quick getaway if we want to. Okay. Okay. You're not going to need that thing now. Yeah, well, you never know. <sighs> All right. Let's see if anybody's home. I'd be real surprised if they were. Much, but could be cozy. Huh? Yeah, it looks like someone lives here, all right. It's shut up for the season or something. Season? Who the hell want to spend vacation here? Argh, this thing is coming handy so far. I don't know I can seem to get it. There she goes. Ah! Rita! Ha! How the hell did you do that? Through the window. Yeah, well, if you do it again, I'm going to use that gun on you. <laughs> Step into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. What's it like here on the inside? Yeah, beats the hell out of being in women's state. You know, the way I see it, Norman Lewis led a secret life. He had some dame stashed on the side. And when his wife found out about it, she gave him a shaft. Why do you think that, Minnie? Well, 
It's simple. There are lots of gals in here for doing the same thing. Hey, Minnie. What? Come here, I want to show you something. What do you want, Fisher? <laughs> Why, you two time and jiggle on. Minnie. <laughs> oh, Wilbur likes my letters better than yours, and so do I. You sneaky old battle axe. Just a minute. You lied to Wilbur right from the beginning, sending him those pictures of, of, of Crystal and saying they were you. Ha <laughs> ha. You've got nothing to offer. Nothing, Minnie. I'll show you what I got to no, no, offer. No, Minnie, take Why, it. Why, you yellow no, no, yeah, Minnie, belly. Please. Hey, get your hands off of me. I ought to lay you out right now. <laughs> and you, you, I never want to see or hear from you again. Any man who would even look at trash like this will here does not deserve Minerva Wells's time. Minnie! Mi Minnie! Right. Minnie, I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean any harm! Minnie, please come back! Hey, you ready to take off? Yep. Promise me you'll try and get some rest tonight, okay? Listen, I could stop by the inn later and see how you're doing. I like that. Okay. Oh, Michael. I'm just so glad it wasn't you. There he was, lying there at my feet. That must have been dreadful, Maria. I'm so sorry. We just can't understand who would do it. I remember him as a very kind man. Never raised his voice. He was one of the few gods who had any respect for us. That's what I'm saying. Who would do this to him? I remember once he showed me a picture of his family. He was so proud. That must be the one I saw in his wallet. Yes, it was in his wallet. <sighs> First I thought it was a robbery, but his money was on him. This, this doesn't make any sense. Hi, Holly. Hi, Maria. How are you feeling? I feel much better today, thanks. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Uh, Holly seems much better. Would you like to join us for some tea? No, thanks. Don't let me interrupt. Uh, Maria was just telling me about something that happened at the prison. Do you remember a guard by the name of Lewis, Norm Lewis? Yes, he's a very nice man. What about him? He was killed yesterday. Oh? Yeah, nobody knows who did it. I just feel so sorry for his family. Did Jerry tell you when he'd be back? No, no, he didn't. I'd like to talk to him. Well, if I see him before you do, I'll tell him. Okay. I don't know what to think. It seems like she's getting better, and then... I know. But do you think it's a good sign that she wants to see Jerry? Well, she's obviously wanting to accept him again. But how did this come all about? Before I went to work this morning, she was so withdrawn. That is a mystery. Last night, she disappeared, and we were all frantic looking for her. This morning, we found her standing in the dining room as though nothing had happened. She was cheerful, smiling, a totally different girl. I tell you, I just don't know. It's really beautiful here. Peaceful. Well, I've always enjoyed it, even as a kid. You grew up here? Yeah, right here at the inn. My dad used to own it. Must be wonderful to have memories. Yeah, well, um, does anything seem familiar to you, Karen? Nothing. I do feel comfortable. Well, you spent some time here. On our honeymoon? Uh, no. It was more recent than that. In fact, it was right before your accident. Actually, we lived here once. When my father died, I moved back here to run the inn. When did we leave? We didn't. You became very unhappy, and you went back to Chicago alone. Did I make you unhappy, Joe? It was just one of those things. Would you like to see Frances? She's a friend. Was she the one who came to the hospital? Yeah, yeah. I thought you might like staying with her. You know, sometimes it's better to stay with no, a friend. I I don't know her any better than anyone else. I'd like to stay here if it's all right. Sure. I hate being such a bother. You're not. You're not. 
The one thing that you've got to understand is that I will do anything I can to help you. I'll see about getting your room. Rita! Try another fuse. Oh, these fuses are so old, they're rusty. All right, I'll try one more. Here goes! Eureka! At least the electricity works. This place looked a lot better in the dark. Well, whoever owned this dump must have forgotten to turn the electricity off. So we'll just run the bill up a little. You don't think the owner's coming back to you? <laughs> to this rat hole? Well, you never know. Listen, if that happens, don't worry. We'll handle it. Rita, we cannot shoot anybody else. What do you mean, we? If you recall correctly, you shot the guy. To save your life. Hey! All right, all right. Let's not go over this again. We've got enough things to think about, like cleaning up this mess. Nineteen fifty-seven. This place sure needs a scrubbing. You think the water's still turned on? Well, hell, I fixed the lights. I sure can handle a little tumbling. <laughs> no, I don't get it. What? How the hell do you know how to do all this stuff? Listen, when you're married to a slob like Ray who sits on his butt all day, drinking beer and watching the boob tube, you learn to do a lot of things. Hell, if I didn't fix things, nothing got done. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be grateful to Ray. Well, you do what you gotta do. Not all of us lived in a lap of luxury. All right, I admit it. So I could pay some people to do some chores. Yep. Uh, like your friend Scarface, huh? You know, Rita, I wish you wouldn't call Faith that. Okay. But I gotta tell you, she used to blow about her highfalutin background. Hey, Rita, Faith didn't brag. No, but she sure let you know that she had the money and the education. You know something? You just didn't like her, period. Right, right. Maybe I was exaggerating a little. But you're right. We didn't hit it off. <laughs> hey, you know something? Before we do anything else, why don't we get a bite to eat? <sighs> Sounds good. You uh, think maybe we can spring for a bottle of vino? Cheap, of course. There's a little store I spotted down about half mile. We can walk it. All right. Let's move the car to a side street first. That's a good idea. We don't want any cops driving by here. And we can call Crystal and see, mm -hmm. see if there's anything word on Debbie. All right, good idea. <laughs> I don't want to keep you from your customers, Crystal. Oh, it's okay, Jerry. Everybody's been served. Now, tell me about Holly. How's she doing? I just can't get over the change in her this morning. Well, it's kind of crazy, but she does seem better. But isn't that good? I guess so. But it's all so sudden. You think she's denying everything again? Maybe it's a therapy, Jerry. She's only had one visit. Well, sometimes things happen awful fast. I know it did with me and my shrink. It didn't take any time for me to understand my addiction to Elvis. I mean, it was almost instant. I didn't know you were in therapy. Oh, yeah, a long time ago. That's how I knew I had to box up all this stuff and put it aside. Of course, then Randy tore it all out again. Well, old Elvis sure has been good for business, huh? Yeah, I gotta admit, when you all put this stuff up, I wasn't real happy about it. But now when I see people enjoying it, well, it makes me feel good inside. Elvis is kind of like our silent partner. If it wasn't for him, this place would still be empty. Well, Randy isn't too bad to cook either. Yeah, he never hardly gets out of the kitchen anymore, though. Hey, you want to see my scrapbook? <laughs> sure. Look, wait I'll show you this. This is me at the Graceland Gates. <laughs> And this is the king in Nashville. I'll never forget that day. You actually saw him, huh? Oh, I sure did. He was so handsome. Why, it sends shivers up and down my spine every time I think about it. it looks like he put on a few pounds by then. Oh, and here he is. Oh, excuse me. Lakeshore Diner. Debbie? Debbie, where are you? what she said, sissy. I knew you'd want to know everything, so that's why I rushed right over here. Oh, I appreciate it, Crystal, but how in the world did she get the money? I didn't have time to ask her, sissy. For one thing, Jerry was standing right there, and I was afraid I'd say something or do something that might get somebody in trouble. You were right. We all have to be careful. Well, I'd trust Jerry with my life, but he is a cop. 
Anyway, I told Brad and Debbie when they get back not to come to the inn because of, um... Oh, good thinking. I told them to come straight to the diner, and I will call you the men if they get in. Fine. Oh, thanks, Crystal. I'll be glad when this whole thing's over with, Sissy. Oh, amen to that. But I'm wondering, how is it that Debbie got the money? Cedar Lake Inn. Sissy, it's Rita. We just called you nowhere, and Randy said... Rita, be careful. I heard Debbie's okay. She's with Brad. Yes, it's true. You'll take good care of her. Oh, you know I will. And then tell her I love her. Rita, talk to me. It's going to... It'd be better for you and your daughter if you come in on your own. You leave my daughter out of this G-man. She had nothing to do with this. Hang up, Rita. Rita, tell Patricia room four is booked. <laughs> Sissy must have lost her mind. She said room four's booked. Well, what's that supposed to mean? How should I know? Wait a minute. <gasps> room four. It's code. She's talking about the money. <gasps> she's not only saying that she knows Debbie's okay, she's saying that she knows that Debbie has got the money. Fire's lovely. Yes, I've always liked it. Joe, her. Joe, I got a call from Rita. What'd she say, Sissy? Well, nothing much. I, I have no idea where they are. She was concerned about Debbie. I assured her she's fine. You've heard from Debbie? Oh, well, Crystal did. She's with Brad, just oh. as you thought. They'll be here soon. Well, they did it again. A few more seconds and I would have been able to trace that call. I can't say I'm sorry. <sighs> Damn it, Mrs. Johnson. Can't you convince them to trust me? Trust you? Every time they call, you get on the line and scare them half to death. It's imperative that they know I don't want to hurt or shoot them, which is what will happen if some trigger-happy lawman gets to them first. I want to protect them, but to do that, I have to know where they are. Well, it's not going to get any cleaner than standing out here. Yeah, well, I think I need a little reinforcement first. <laughs> yeah, I'd be looking forward to a cup of three-dollar wine. Ray and I used to drink this all the time. Kind of grows on you. Yeah, well, I'll consider it an education. <laughs> mm. Some education. <laughs> you know, maybe I can relax a little bit now that I know Debbie's okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> hmm? No. <laughs> Talking to G-Man. <laughs> Where in the hell did you get that expression, anyway? Well, oh, isn't that what Al Capone used to call Elliot Ness? Yeah, or what Ma Barker used to call her pursuer. <laughs> hey, here's to Debbie's safe return. A drink to that and to the return of the money. I'll go check out the kitchen, see what I can rustle up to eat. All right. Another thing I used to do for Ray, he didn't even know we had a stove in the house. <laughs> I know. You used to have your servants cook your supper. Hey, I make a pretty mean macaroni and cheese, if I do say so myself. And I keep that in mind. Doing here, Hal? 
Well, I'll tell you, it's like this. My truck broke down as soon as I crossed into Utah, so I started thumbing. And I was about a half mile outside this little town here when I spotted you and that other pretty lady driving on by. Well, I tried flagging you down, but either you did not see me or you were determined not to stop for anybody. Come on, this is too much of a coincidence. Being here in your tub and all, that was all planned. I just thought this would be a real nice surprise for you. <laughs> this is a cowboy. I'm not talking about being in the tub. I'm talking about you being here at all. Did you follow me? Now, you said you were going back home to Texas. This here's Utah. You lost? No, ma'am. Not anymore. Say, would you mind moving that there gun a little, huh? Kind of makes a fellow tad nervous. I don't believe this. Oh, you still struggling with all that stress? Huh? Come to Papa. I'll take care of you. Come <laughs> here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, doesn't it go bad, huh? Oh, I like you better wet. A lot better oh. wet. She checked in for a few days. It's amazing, the guests we have in this place. We have an FSD agent who wants to arrest the owner. We have a woman who has no recollection of anything but your face. And a young bride who can't go home to her husband because she's afraid. Well, let's not advertise any of these facts, okay? Let's wait till I write my book. Mm -hmm. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Hi, Joe. How yeah. you doing? Better. Mm, now. Good, 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 good. Did you get plenty of rest? As a matter of fact, I just woke up and I'm starving. You want something to eat? Since when do I ever turn down food? <laughs> Do you know who that is, Karen? I'm trying to place the face, but I can't. Will I ever remember anything, Joe? you just got to be patient. It'll happen. You'll see. Come on. I stopped by the diner to talk to Crystal this afternoon. I needed to talk to someone. I didn't know if you were really getting better or... If you were just trying to suppress everything again. I told you I'm getting much better. I know that, and I'm glad, but... Oh, I don't know. I just can't put my finger on it. I don't know what you mean. If you're talking about my problems, sure, I still have a few. No, it's not that. I just... I get this feeling that... The therapist told me it would take time, Jerry. I admit, I still feel scared sometimes. And I'm afraid of being touched, being hurt. Oh, honey, I would never hurt you. You know that. My God, why do you think I waited so long I don't want to talk about that. Okay. I'm getting better. Things are different for me. That's all I know. Just remember that I love you. And in spite of all the stuff that's happening to us, I still think that everything's going to be okay. I'll stand by you, no matter what, no matter how long it takes, and I'll be patient. And if anything upsets you, I want you to tell me. Trust me. I worry about Fisher. I want him to stay away from me. I'm afraid he's gonna hurt me again. No, he's not gonna hurt you. No one is. I promise. Trust me. Mm, mm, mm. Can you cook like this? No, can you? No. I'll see you two later. Hi, Sissy. Thanks, Sissy. Maria, I have something to say. 
Oh, really? Now, this is serious, all right? Um, this isn't real easy for me, Maria. Michael, I haven't said anything. Okay, okay, okay. I've been thinking a lot about what you said, about how it could be me instead of Norman. Do we really have to talk about this, Look, please? I know it's upsetting to you, but just hear me out, okay? Please? See, the fact is, it could have been you instead of Norman, too. Or any of us, for that matter. They say that something good always comes out of something bad. Well, what Norman's death did for me, Maria, is it made me realize that life really is short. And when we find something good, someone that we can hold on to, we just have to make the best of it. Michael. Maria, what I'm trying to tell you here is that I love you. I want a future with you. I want you to marry me. <sighs> Does that mean yes or that you don't take me seriously? Michael. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Maria, you're going to make me the happiest man on earth. We're going to have a wonderful life together. We're going to laugh and, and play and fill the house with children. Oh, yeah, kids. We're going to have lots of kids. You are going to be a wonderful mother. Maria, I wish I didn't have to say this, but there were complications. I'm afraid you won't be able to have children. Never. I'm sorry. Wait until you're Mrs. Michael Torres. You can tell your friend how Carter Drake, Cody, how Cody, Cody Carver, Carter, whatever the hell his name is, he can take him and his Drake out of here. You're getting a little carried away here. Oh, really? Where the hell did you meet Roy Rogers anyway? We did a rodeo circuit together. What's it to you? Get him out of here, Rita. He can't stay now. Patricia, you don't own this place. This is not the inn. What? Are you stupid? You're on the run. You hey, got excuse me for interrupting, ladies. I just, uh, I just thought y'all would like to know. Uh, when I first got here, I, I took a look-see upstairs, and well, turns out there's a real nice mattress up there. So if you all don't mind, I'm going to mosey on up and get me some shut-eye. Uh, Miss Rita, I don't suppose you'd like to come along, give me a rub-down, kind of <laughs> relax me? <laughs> there's nothing I'd rather do more. <laughs> 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 All right. Last word was uh, service. Service. All right. Now, if a if a Y is an L, then a Z is an M. Memory. Memory service. The hell's a memory service? Why is it on this date in the calendar? Stop! Stop! No! Oh, 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 right. Memory service, memory service, memory service, memory, memorial service. Memorial service. That's it. Rita? Rita! Get down here! Put your clothes on! 